As far as I'm aware, the best analyst of Sasquatch vocals is a man who posts as Monongahela and as Sasquatch Bioacoustic. His YouTube channel is also called Sasquatch Bioacoustic, and I highly recommend it to anyone who's interested in Sasquatch vocalizations. Lately, he's been helping me out with some of my own recordings. Since May, I've been leaving my audio recorder in this micro forest near where I live. I've discovered an abundance of stick and tree structures. And that's why I'm conducting this experiment, trying to listen in to this forest long enough to catch their return visit or visits. I've recorded wood knocks here, tree pushes, and vocalizations. Stop it right there. There's a lot going on already right here in this first set of vocalizations. First, let me draw your attention to this initial vocal, and you'll see how flat that vocal is. The pitch is, is fairly tight, and it doesn't uh, go up and down in pitch very much. There's a little waver here in the beginning, but that's a characteristic we like to see, a good flat pitch. And then the same voice takes a little pause and breaks into a slightly higher pitched yell uh, or vocal and a little louder and then continues here. Okay, that sounds pretty, pretty impressive. So what you have here is a nice, loud, I won't call it a shriek, but it's closer to a roar, but it's very high in pitch, uh, and you see a lot of broadband up here, but it sounds like a very agitated voice. Yeah, that's pretty dramatic. You can hear the long, drawn-out wailing sound there at the end. Uh, it begins with this nice, tightly controlled um, vocal, uh, almost a, a howl beginning. Let's play that again, see if I can characterize it better. It starts out with more of an ooh phoneme, uh, and then you can see the pitch drop right down here as it finishes and before it breaks into this, uh, this broader band um, shriek. distinct phonemes appearing in this vocal. Um, and this is uh, another common occurrence, uh, a good indicator that this is not a canid making this vocal. In the beginning of these vocals, you'll hear an ooh phoneme, as in boot, ooh, and it transitions into an ah phoneme, as in father. So ooh, ah, you can hear that plainly in these last two uh, vocalizations. It's pretty clear. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. That's a pretty solid characteristic that we like to see. So, this is a nice knock whoop combination, and we'll loop on both of those. This is a very good uh, example of what a whoop sounds like. It's very good right there. 
Here is an example of a phoneme stream that in some quarters uh, suggest, you know, the, the theory is this could represent speech. Now let's listen to it closely. You'll see, you'll hear what to the human ear sounds like syllables, but probably in a language you wouldn't recognize. distinct notes in there, notes, syllables, phonemes, take your pick, but um, that is an example of the kind of thing that we don't get that very often, but it does appear from time to time in these uh, vocalization recordings.